So we're here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in Vallejo, California to transport two young California sea lions that were stranded and rescued as part of the unusual mortality event that happened this past winter and they didn't meet the criteria for release and were deemed non-releasable. So in the case of an animal that, that doesn't appear to meet the criteria or that is released and restrands or restrands repeatedly, the National Marine Fisheries Services places them on a national placement list and any aquarium or zoo that has the ability to, to accommodate those animals and provide long-term homes for those animals is contacted and, and permitted to, to accept those animals on behalf of the National Marine Fisheries Service. Our role with the UME is we are a foster home for them. We, uh, after they've been at the rescue center and have been deemed non-releasable, they are then brought to our facility where we care for them, get them healthy, and then um, prepare them for their forever homes. We've had 16 animals from the unusual mortality event that's taken place this year. Uh, we've placed all of them except for these two, which are we are very excited that they're going to the Georgia Aquarium and going to have an amazing life there. Georgia Aquarium is really, really proud to be able to work with different facilities like Six Flags Discovery Kingdom and the Marine Mammal Center and, and, and all the different stranding centers within, within California because they are such important figures in the response to these marine mammals. We're really proud to work with them. The transport of marine mammals is something that's taken very seriously and is something that uh, is very sensitive. So we'll be monitoring their, their every need and, and, being, and paying very close attention to the temperature of the van that, they're, that we're going to be traveling to the airport in and when they're at the airport and obviously on the airplane. We just want to make sure that they're very cool, very comfortable and taken care of on their, on their journey. At Georgia Aquarium, we have a special room set up where we can actually quarantine these animals for about 30 days or so just to monitor them very closely uh, to make sure that they are healthy before introducing them to any other animals within our, within our Georgia Aquarium family. They did really well. They were calm the whole time. We just kept them nice and cool. They, do, they did great. Once the animals are at Georgia Aquarium, we'll be spending a lot of time with them, just getting to know them and acclimate them to their new surroundings and, and really start establishing the behaviors that will allow for us to care for them throughout their life at Georgia Aquarium.